Hi everyone and welcome to Stormworks. In this video I am hopefully going to quickly explain the seven segments advanced again but after the update. So after the update it changed to a binary model. So on and off with bits and stuff. So not only are you going to learn a little bit about seven segments but also about uh, binary which I don't think too many people know. I know it because yeah, I'm a computer engineer. Or not really. Actually, I do voice over IP and data center. So I do new networking, which includes binary because you have to do it for IP subnetting and all this IP addressing, yada, 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 yada. So let me uh, show you what I have here. I'm going to reset this board. So basically what I have here is going to be my bits, my binary coding. So binary coding contains basically on and off signals. And what I have here is I have seven of them. So just count the red buttons. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So when I turn on this bit, it equals zero or equals one. So this is my counter down here. So every time I turn one of these on or off, you'll see this adjust to the number it equals. So when I turn this one, it's two. And what it does is as the bits turn on and off, you count the number up and it gives you three. So four, so see how it's skipped like five, six. Well, if I want five, I turn that off, it gives me five. If I want six, it gives me that. And so on and so forth. So since the seven segment contains seven segments, that means there's gonna be seven bits, which gives us a total of 127. So what you'll see here is this is the seven segment in the advanced binary mode. So in Stormworks, you have to convert a number into binary. So you have to know the number to what segments you want on. So it's not as simply as just having the on and off like it was before. Now you have to know the number. So like if I want to do an A, let's say I want to do an A. It's 119 equals an A. Or if I want an H, it's 118. Or how about an E? Uh, it was boop, 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 E. Yes, so you can still do the custom letters. It's just that you need to know how to add up the numbers. So this is what you need to remember. So it's 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. So if you can tell, it's the square root So of each number going higher. So it doubles 1, 2, 4, double 8, double 16, double 13, double 64. And you can tell, so starting from the first one, it turns on the top and it starts going around. around and then the seventh bit is in the middle so basically what you have to do is figure out which segments you want on so if, oh, I I just want the middle segment so that's 64 once you have 64 the middle segment comes on well what if I want like a, a U uh, so that would be the like, laugh, so it's 16, maybe like a big U, oops, a big U, uh, boom, it is 62. So you need to know what bits you need to turn on, so to speak, and then add all those numbers up, and then that'll turn that into this U. So how am I doing this? Let me show you. So this is my logic board. You have to have a dedicated output. So I call it binary output. It comes into this. Seven segment. It's in display mode on off, not number. And then my advanced 
Now, this looks extremely complicated, but it's mostly just because I want to show you the um, on and off and doing the bits. So this is doing all my bits. It's adding up the number. But basically what it's doing, after it adds up all those numbers, the 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, comes here, adds them all up. I'm basically just spitting it to a binary number and composite, and it's going out. I mean, you could just do like a constant number, and I want to turn on all of them. So I'll do 127. I can just do this. Let's update it. And see, now all of them are on. So basically all it really comes down to is just remembering that you have your number, whatever it may be, you turn it into binary, and then you spit it back out. So that is really about it. Um, the hardest part for anyone will be remembering the bits on and off. You know, that again, that it goes to, I'll show you one more time, the bit structure, just because not everyone knows this. We have one, two, four, six, or one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. So remember this these bits that that these associate to each of the seven segments. And you just add up the numbers that you want to remain on. How about like a six? Ooh, six, which one? Six? So like a six, or maybe a G, if you want to say it's a G, 125. So I have to add all these numbers up and you'll get 125. Anyway, I know it's not simple, but hopefully this helps if you decide to create some custom messages to your users. And I think that's about it. And then look at, there's an L, 56. Like if you want to do hello, hello, which which was that again? That was like, boop, boop, and the middle one. So, 118 for H. The E was. Uh, so I need E is 121. Need that L again. Uh, oh, there you go. L is 56. Then we need the O. Hello. Or maybe you want the small O. The small O, 92. Anyway. Oh, look at that sweet train. Uh, yeah, that is it. Anyway, hope you found something useful out of this wasn't too complicated. Remember, turn the number to associate to that, the bits. Here they are again. Write it down, do what you gotta do, and good luck. And we'll see you soon. Thank you.